how to create dotted design like this in Affinity Photo. Now you'll notice it's not straight. It's quite tricky to get it exactly straight, but it does create a nice jazzy design like this very quickly. And this is using brushes. So let's just remove this layer. And just firstly, you need to create a brush. So rectangle tool, hold down the shift and create a square. Then go over here and then ellipse and create a circle. Again, hold down the shift and change your color. So let's just change it. And I'm gonna go with yellow. You can go with any color, reds, greens, blues, etc. Just line it. Let's just go line that. You need to rasterize it. So right click and group, then right click and a rasterize just down here. Now that you've done that, you can go to the brushes. Here's the brushes panel. Right side menu, click there, new brush from selection. Now here's the brush, it doesn't look much at the moment. Let's just remove this layer, double click, and you can change this general and go to spacing. And unfortunately, spacing works only in percentages. It's not a value, so it's not 73.2 or anything. So it's percentage, and you can see as you increase that, increase that, just put it about there. And you can see now you get this lovely line of these dots. Also, we can do go to dynamics, hue jitter, and you can change that. So now you get these reds, greens, blues, etc. And close. Now I want this in a straight line across, and I'm just gonna go again to the brush tool and now select this. So if I click here and hold down the shift click there you can see it cross. it's not 100% straight line now if you want to make it straight line really good way of doing it always find rectangle tool so rectangle tool across like that and then make sure you've got a layer so layer a new layer if you created the brush now it would apply inside that shape which is not what I want and then paintbrush tool and again go there set it to about 140 maybe a bit less don't want it too small so you can't see it but let's just click here and now hold the shift down click there and you can see it creates basically a straight line it's not exact i'm certain it's slightly out what you can then do is you can remove this don't need that anymore delete it and you can rotate it you might like to then resize it so it's the size of this so let's just resize that and put it there. Now you can do this in the brush, but I find again the problem is slightly skew with, which it will be, even going 24, 25%, you won't get probably exactly the right setting. So it's just as easy just to create it here. And also what you can do is to make it really quite certain it's actually straight, simply do a selection. And then you can create a selection across that, down there, make sure obviously you get all the dots. And then obviously then use that as the brush. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use what I've got there. So move tool, that selected. Go to the brushes. Again, over here. Click there and new brush from selection. And now you've got your brush. Straight, vertical. And let's just remove that. Double click. And you can see now you've got this design. Well, what you can then do, again, change the spacing. Now, unfortunately, it's very tricky sometimes to get exactly because again, it's not 6.5, it's not 6.6. .6. So you look at it and think, oh, that's close, but not exactly right. But that's as close in this case. It could be 4%, it could be 3%. Also, what you can do, go to Dynamics, Hue Jitter, and then just change that. Click Close. Now you've got your brush. Simply go to the document. I'm just going to use the paintbrush tool there and then click here and then go over the other side, hold down the shift and click again. And you've got this lovely display of dots very quickly in Affinity Photo. Now, of course, some variation will kick in. You will have slight skew with depending how accurately you created that initial line. But the basic design can be created very quickly using this basic brush, just using a rectangle or square and a circle. Now you could also, of course, create many variations with maybe a, a rectangle with maybe two or three dots in there to create some slightly different designs. Well, I hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.